In this video, we're going to look at the two key pieces of evidence that back up the Big Bang Theory, okay, the Doppler effect and cosmic microwave background radiation. So the first one, the Doppler effect then. The Doppler effect is a phenomena seen or heard when an object emitting a wave is moving relative to the object receiving it. Okay, so if we take sound as the first example, this red object is emitting a sound, all right? As it moves towards the person, you'll notice that the distance between the waves decreases. Okay, so we can say the wavelength is decreasing. If that's happening, then the frequency must be increasing and so the sound will sound higher. As the object is moving away, the wavelength is increasing, so the frequency must be decreasing and it will sound lower. Okay, this is the reason why if you hear an ambulance siren um, coming towards you and away from you, its sound seems to change. So as it moves towards, the wavelength decreases and the frequency increases. As it moves away, the wavelength will increase and the frequency will decrease. Okay, so there's just the example again. If a siren is heading towards you, the wavelength will appear to decrease and the frequency increase. So it will sound higher as it moves away from you. The frequency will sound, well, will become lower and it will sound lower. Okay. So this is known as the Doppler effect. And it doesn't just happen to sound, it also happens to light, okay? Or any wave, really, all right? So in light, as the wavelength increases, so the object is moving away from you, the light will appear redder, okay? So down this end of the spectrum. As the object is moving towards you and emitting light, it will appear bluer, okay? Or down towards this, end of the spectrum at least okay and we call that blue shift so if the object's moving away we call it red shift if it's moving towards us we will see a blue shift all right and this red shift is the first key piece of evidence to back up the big bang theory okay as we can see that all or pretty much all of the galaxies are red shifted that means all of the galaxies are moving away from us and the further they are away the faster they appear to be moving because the redshift is increased. Okay, so from the redshift, we can really tell how far away the object is and how fast it's moving away from us. Okay, right, so in 1964, the second big piece of evidence was found, right? The cosmic microwave background radiation. This was found by Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson and was originally mistaken for bird poo on the radio telescope okay so when they were looking into space they noticed that there was a um background or a fuzz behind everything they were seeing okay and this is the remnants this is the radiation left over from the big bang and the only theory that exists to date that supports this and can explain the cosmic microwave background radiation is the big bang theory in the 1950s, there was another theory that people believed could be true called the steady state theory. And this is that galaxies were continually being made and moving apart from each other. Whereas the Big Bang Theory says that all the galaxies were made at the same time, i.e. the start of the universe, and have all been moving away ever since. Okay, so the Big Bang Theory looks a little something like this. Whereas steady state is a bit more like this. Okay. So cosmic microwave background radiation is the only thing that really supports this. And this is what the cosmic microwave background radiation looks like. It's just really a haze of remnants of radiation left over from the Big Bang. These red spots are hot spots. Okay, so these could be the starting or the birth of galaxies. And these blue spots, blue spots represent cooler areas in space. Okay, and this is what Penzias and Wilson saw behind everything when they looked up through their radio telescope.